Hello everyone, I'm Jess with Black Travelers Network. We provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, but we also cover news that impacts the African diaspora. We have a lot to talk about today. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to say that our latest publication, Out of Service, is available on the website. This is a 26-page publication of simple money-making business ideas you can offer in this environment. We also have where you can pre-order until July 10th, the online workshop, How to Make Money in the COVID Era. Again, you can find these on blacktravelersnetwork.com in our online store. So, there's so much talk about the likelihood of the United States not being allowed entry into certain countries because the media is reporting the United States COVID numbers are on the rise again. If you take a look at the last video on this YouTube channel, you will see that the way the global pandemic is playing out here in the United States is very political. We have elections coming up in November and all of the politicians are posturing and using COVID-19 as an issue to position themselves politically. Also, this past week, in an act that appeared to be very much political, the European Union banned Americans from entering once they reopened their borders. So we will see how long that lasts. When it comes to the continent of Africa, as the Western powers play politics, the African nations are really working to figure out a pathway to reopening their borders. The economic community of West African states, also known as ECOWAS, has drawn up a roadmap for the reopening of their borders. ECOWAS is made up of 15 different member countries located in the African Western region. These countries are Cape Verde, Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Senegal, Sierra Leone. You also have Benin, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Niger, Nigeria, and Togo are all ECOWAS member countries. Borders in the ECOWAS region have been closed for weeks due to the global pandemic. The plan the West African nations have drawn up thus far is reopening in several different phases. The first phase is called the internal phase and it consists of reopening domestic airports and lifting restrictions on land transportation within ECOWAS member states in late June. The second phase is based on widening the opening between the member states to allow the free movement of goods and people. The proposed date is July 15th at the latest. And finally, ECOWAS offers the opening of air and land borders to other countries, excluding ECOWAS, that do not have very high levels of COVID-19 contamination for the second half of July, so around July 31st at the latest. This opening specifies the organization will be a function of the evolution of the pandemic within the member countries of ECOWAS and will also be subject to a periodic evaluation, which basically means that this is something that they're going to constantly be evaluating over time in terms of who's allowed access to the country. These are recommendations that will need to be endorsed by the heads of state, but the options that are being considered as of right now is July 1st is when they want to open the land borders, July 15th, opening of the air borders, July 22nd, opening of all African flights into the region, and August 1st, all intercontinental international flights. That is their plan thus far. For most folks who are a part of the community, you know we travel to West Africa, to the West African region, and so we are looking to travel there in 2021. If you'd like more information on that, definitely uh, reach out to us. You can send an email to blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com. I wanna say if you have not subscribed, make sure you cl click the subscribe button. Thank you guys for listening. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. 
and until next time.